Imagine that police officers placed a global positioning system, or GPS, tracking device on your car and then monitored your every movement for a month. In United States v. Jones, the Supreme Court addressed whether the Fourth Amendment requires a search warrant to do so. In 2004, officers in the District of Columbia suspected that a club owner named Antoine Jones was involved in a drug trafficking conspiracy. Without a valid warrant, the officers placed a small GPS tracking device weighing only two ounces and about the size of a credit card on the undercarriage of his car. The officers then tracked the car's movements, including its trip to a stash house used by drug dealers. Federal prosecutors used the GPS tracking records, along with other evidence, to obtain an indictment alleging that Jones was part of a drug conspiracy. Jones filed a pretrial motion to suppress the GPS records, contending that the officers' placement of the GPS device and their monitoring of his car's movements violated the Fourth Amendment. The federal district court denied the motion in part, ruling that officers' GPS monitoring of Jones's car on public roads wasn't a search within the meaning of the Fourth Amendment. A jury then convicted Jones, and he was sentenced to life in prison. Jones appealed to the Court of Appeals for the D.C. Circuit, which reversed the conviction. The court concluded that the GPS monitoring violated Jones's reasonable expectation of privacy and therefore violated the Fourth Amendment. The United States then sought review by the United States Supreme Court.